from the Spiro Sports Center in Staten Island, New York, this is Northeast Conference Basketball. Today it's the game of the week featuring the LIU Brooklyn Blackbirds and the Wagner Seahawks. Here's Jordan Peck, junior from Ohio, trying to pass it off, but it's intercepted by Whippy. The swipe and the score, 3-0 LIU. Ball in the hands of Nuwajet. Going to see her isolated a lot. They like to play a lot of two-player game. Screen on the ball, let Jasmine create. Step back three from the right side, and she buries it. Back on Monday. Game in which 10 of their 12 players that got in the contest got in the scoring sheet. Speaking about getting on the scoring sheet, there's Nawaje driving in for two. 12 on the shot clock as she brings it back out to center floor for a reset. Now Basine on the drive. They count, they'll count the basket and one. Basine on the drive. Puts it up off the square and in. And in the final seconds of the first half, the Blackbirds go on a run and extend their advantage to eight going into the locker room. Trying to back it in, now passing back outside with 10 on the shot clock, back to Whippy along the baseline. Grays the twine, but scooped up from underneath by Nawaja, now in transition. It's a two on three. She takes it by herself and gets it off the backboard. Here's Peck, little hesitation move now. Coming in, count it, and one! Yeah, that's the lefty driving from the right side, able to adjust, get the shot over the outstretched hand. Opportunity for three-point play. A little bit of a matchup zone for the Seahawks. Long three, no good from underneath. Vaughn trying to clean it up, overshot the rim. And now wide open on the other end, Nawaje for the touchdown. Concentration kept the basketball high. Dangerous pass intercepted. Ford on the receiving end now. Pass back up to Basine for three. Why not? On by Waith. Ball pops back outside the perimeter. Now here come the Seahawks on the run. Nawaje from underneath yeah, gets good. it to go. Play clock winding down, down to five in the far corner. It's Peck trying to get around Winter. She throws it up and hits a long two. The Wagner press has been effective against the Blackbirds. Nawaje with space, taking it right to the basket, count it, and one. Yeah, Coach Strigler looks at a team like, how can she get through the, the, the lane virtually untouched? Rebound by Nawaje on the baseline. Uh, crowds into this basketball game. That was a good look by Whippy. Dribble penetration again, breaking down the zone. Nawaje for the lead! Well, she held that follow through a little bit, Craig. Fans going crazy. She has the hands up. Nawaje for three. It's good! That's clutch, isn't it? 72-69. Seahawks by three. Final five seconds. Vaughn driving in. The clock expires and the ball game is over. The Wagner Seahawks win it 72-69. They're two and one in conference for the first time since 2004. Coach, Northeast Conference basketball at its best. Anything can happen, great parity. Talk about coming back from that 17 point deficit. What was the conversation in the huddle? Basically, we really had to dig deeper on defense. We were allowing a lot of easy shots. Uh, I credit LIU because they did a great job in the first half creating and controlling the tempo. We had to do a better job of stopping the ball, finding the ball, and limiting them to one shot. And I thought we did a really good job of that towards the end of the game. Let's talk about your high-powered duo of Jasmine and Jordan Peck, the big shots they made. Talk about those two young ladies stepping up in crunch time. You know, you're always going to be better when you have those two on your team. They're really tough kids. They refuse to lose. The biggest thing that they did was they led. They grabbed all the youth on the floor and showed them what to do. Led by example and what they said. That's what we're missing as we progress and we found it this afternoon. We talked about you being a young team, no seniors on the squad. Robert Morris coming to town Monday night. What can a win like this do, do for your program? Every win's great. We had Sam Sullivan who came in as a freshman at the end of the game and made huge plays. Every day we get older, every day we get better in my book. So I'm just proud of them. I want to enjoy it. We'll focus on Robert Morris tomorrow. Great. Congratulations, Coach. Jasmine, congratulations on the win. Now, they made you work pretty hard in the first half. You had a little bit of a tough time scoring. What was the difference in the second half? Well, I just adjusted to what they was doing, and the defense they was playing on me. And I just got a little more comfortable. I'm at the home court, and I just played my game. Talk about that chemistry between you and Jordan Peck. Key shots, you two were instrumental in that 17-point comeback. Talk to me about playing with her as a backcourt teammate. 
Um, well, it's amazing because we can both do a little bit of everything. I can shoot, but she's the main shooter, and I drive and dish, so I feel like we're unstoppable that way. Well, you know what? You're only a sophomore, but coaches talked about the importance of your leadership and your unselfish play, getting other people involved. Talked about some of the contributions some of the young players like a Sullivan had, again, in this game and this big win. Well, being that I make a lot of shots and take a lot of shots, some people fall asleep, so... Um, the shots that Sam made was amazing because for her to be ready and put under that much pressure because we had some of our vets in foul trouble was pretty good. What do you think about Robert Morris coming to town Monday? This is the last question. What does this win do for your team as you have the Colonials coming to Staten Island? Well, I guess it just boosts us our self-esteem because we came off a tough loss to Mount St. Mary's in the last second. So for them to come here and it be a home court advantage, I don't see any problems. I'm not really worried. Well, you got the Sparrow Sports Center excited today. Congratulations Thank on you. the win. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank